The absolute value built in Python function is a really easy function to understand and by the end of this video you'll have a great grasp on how to use it within your programs. So to record this video I'm just going to be using the Python console. So if we're back in PyCharm we can come down to the bottom and click Python console. But if you don't have PyCharm installed you can just go to your terminal and type in Python and you can do the same exact things that we're going to be doing in this video. So I'm sure you all know from math class, the absolute value returns the non-negative value of that integer. So to use the absolute value in Python, all we have to do is type in abs with our open and closing parentheses and then type in the number that we want to get the absolute value of. So if we were to get the absolute value of negative one, hit enter, you can see that it's one. No surprise there. If we were to do the absolute value of seven, we get seven. Now where this kind of gets a little bit more interesting and a bit more useful in our programs is when we have a list. So if we define a new list, we said a equals one, two, three. And if we did negative four, negative five, and let's say negative six. So we define that new list. If we wanted to have the absolute value of all the integers within our list here, what we could do is say b equals, then we could do a one line for loop by saying the absolute value of i for a in, or not for a, for i in a. Well, if you run this, we can print out b. And now you can see that the four, five, and six were converted to the absolute value. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.